Hi everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today um, for this really fun gift idea. I actually had somebody send me this gift basket in the mail and I got it yesterday and it was the highlight of my day. Like I just felt so loved and special and it was kind of a gratitude basket. It was somebody doing something um, to like show their gratitude and I would have never thought to send this stuff in the mail So that's why I really wanted to share it with you So I did not make this basket or do anything like that. It was gifted to me But I wanted to share it with you guys before I dove into it and You'll see why Here it is this beautiful gift basket was mailed to me in just a regular box and it sat in the box just like this and I thought it was amazing like it's so pretty and sweet and nice and I will show you guys what's in it and so she just put um, tissue paper and it's just this really fun basket honestly gift idea wise you cannot go wrong with any kind of storage container basket anything like that because we all use them we all need them and who does not like another purpose to store something? The first thing that actually caught my eye in this basket is that it was all stuff that me and my friend had spoken about or talked about at one point or another. And um, just kind of some favorites of mine. And the biggest thing that um, jumped out at me was this bottle of wine. Now I'm not a huge drinker by any means, but I do enjoy like a glass of wine here or there. Uh, I just don't drink in large quantities at all. So um, this bottle of wine is actually a cherry Moscato, you can see, and it has this beautiful label and it's, um, it says Moscato wine and tart cherries. And so I'm really excited to try it because Moscato was something that uh, me and my friend had spoke about and I told her that I loved a good Moscato because I just like a little bit sweeter of a wine. So I'm interested to see how this will taste. And so I had to show you guys before I popped this bottle and tasted it. She put in this really cute little touch of a wine tumbler. And I thought this was really cool because it says it is a dual stainless steel lid included sweat proof, sweat proof shatterproof uh, vacuum sealed. And so it has a little lid as you can see and it's like this little just like a tumbler and how many times um, do you are outside with a group of people or something like that or having a, a cookout or something and you do want wine but you don't want to sit there and carry a stemmed glass and even the other kind of glasses that are tumblers um, I just thought this was so cool because it kind of would conceal it keep it cold and who wants to drink a hot wine no one so I thought this was so fun and I've never seen anything like it so I'm excited to try it the other fun thing that was in here was a sugar scrub and this is the label it says it's from their band Tree Hut, and it just has this really pretty label on top as well. And I love a good sugar scrub. I even love making a good sugar scrub, and I feel like it's just a staple that you need as a female for your hands or your legs, um, especially like in these dry months that we all have in the south, or even if you live in the desert. And so I thought this was super thoughtful because usually people give you lotion or they give you um, like hand soap or something like that. But an actual scrub I thought was a really ingenious idea that most people don't think to put in a gift basket. Now, here's the fun part. This is a chocolate bar that is a cookie, cookie layer crunch chocolate bar by Hershey's, which, oh, does that not look amazing? Oh my gosh, I mean, who would not wanna eat that? Cause I really wanna eat it and it a lot of willpower for me not to try it before I filmed this. I think putting candy like this that's a little bit out of the norm and a little more special than just what's in the line at the grocery aisle. You know, something that you probably wouldn't buy yourself because you would think, oh, I really want to try that, but mm, I shouldn't. You know, these are the really fun things. And I, oh, who doesn't love a good candy? The other fun thing that I thought was really good 
was that they included um, these Pepperidge Farm cookies. And so these you can get at any grocery store. They come in tons of different kinds. And I've never had one that I don't like. I mean, oh gosh, they're all good. And I thought this was really fun. It kind of adds some depth and height to your basket as well. And it's yummy. You know these are going to get eaten. You know whoever you're going to give them to, whether it be a single person, a family, um, they will love these, eat these, think it's a special treat. And normally people don't buy um, like the higher end cookie. They're buying uh, just kind of an okay cookie or an old favorite, but they're not buying kind of a specialty cookie like this. So I thought in a gift basket, this was really ingenious to include. And don't forget a thank you card or whatever kind of card, if it's get well or whatever kind of basket you're putting together. The thank you card she gave me was so fun and so cute and oh, I think what you write inside the card is the most important of the whole basket. This was just so special to me because it was my friend telling me thank you, just showing me such gratitude that I should never have to be thanked for, that I should be always giving willingly and just to have somebody take that little bit of extra time to put it in a card and write down like we we appreciate you and we are thankful is oh, it's so amazing I this was probably like the most cherished to me actually let me show you guys the basket she just put a couple pieces of tissue paper and I think it's cool to do you could almost do whatever color you want or have on hand um, and then this basket look at these little cute handles a round basket like this I think is so fun and not something you would probably buy yourself because we tend to buy ourselves square things because they want them to fit places and they just fit better and this I think I'm gonna put on my fireplace with some really cute like pillows or blankets in it and it's just adorable so I think any type of basket is fun but especially a round one I mean that's something to kind of look for. It's not such the norm. He, actually in the box, she had it wrapped up in uh, like a cellophane wrap and I know I've seen those at like at craft stores and things like that and she put cellophane um, around it and it made it even more special to me and I just loved it. Um, at, in the packaging though, the cellophane kind of got a little bit ripped and so I just took it out before I took any pictures of it. Just made it seem more special to have that extra little touch and I know that when you go to craft stores that's not um, an overabundance. It's not something that's going to cost you a lot more money since you are, you know, putting together something. Did you guys just see my son walk by? He's funny. He's looking for his charger for his Nintendo Switch. He just... He just always wants to be in the videos. <laughs> if you guys don't know, me. if you guys don't know, I actually have a vlog channel too, and I, it's always in the description box below. He's in doing it again, and um, so if you want to see like what we do kind of on the day to day or just for special occasions, it's always there. Here is an overview of kind of what the basket looks like and how pretty it is with everything put back together. Um, she did it way better than I did. I actually should have showed you guys before I took everything out of it. The basket's pretty deep and it's just a beautiful, fun way to show somebody gratitude or just a really good gift idea for any occasion. I, I did want to show you guys this was the box that it came in and so it wasn't a huge box by any means but it fit in there perfect and she didn't put any packing or anything and nothing broke, it was wonderful. This is what it costs to actually mail it. So when you're thinking about a budget or what you wanna spend on something, do consider the shipping cost. But I actually think for what this weighed and what was in it, this was probably a very good price. I hope this gift basket inspired you in some way in the next present venture that you're going down, whether it be a thank you basket, a get well basket, a new home basket. Um, I think actually just even if you send it in the mail, I think it was a really good idea and I really wanted to share it with you guys. And it, it was a 
complete surprise to me. It is not anything that I expected, but it was so appreciated and it just made me feel so special as a human. And I have to say, when we're a wife and a mom and you're doing everything for everyone else, it's so nice that somebody takes a little tiny bit of time to say thank you um, and do something nice for us as women. So that is really why I wanted to share it with all of you. I hope this inspired you and I hope you got some good ideas. And let me know if you guys make any baskets in the future or have any really good gift ideas that would go along with this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that bell notification and that if you haven't already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye.